you know, there, there's a saying, I don't want to become a bitter person. Mm. Right. If you keep remembering all the bad things that happen to you all the mm. time. Mm. Right. And you keep revising them in your head, you will end up becoming a bitter human being. Mentorship means they are willing to help you, grow you, support you, expand your capabilities. Right? Transactional friendship is highly valuable. Don't ever underestimate it. You need a bunch of transactional friends in life because life is logistics. Namaste. Welcome to the online samosa with Yamini Mitter. And with Sandeep Tiwari. Friendship is a key component of life. But we do not take time to think how to make our good friends better friends. Yes. Better friendship. Hmm. It's a tough question. Actually, it's a tough idea to entertain. <laughs> <laughs> because making good friends itself is, we think we are so lucky. Mm -hmm. Because everyone has experience of not being able to make good friends <laughs> and then have experience where they go to a new place and they have no friends and they have to start over. Mm. And it, and it, everyone feels like it's a lot of work to make friends, especially as you get older in life. Mm. Right. So we make friends with all kinds of people just randomly. Randomly meaning we make friends. We are what you know. If you look at society now, nuclear society, meaning mm. you're not really living with your joint family much anymore, right? Even if you are, you kind of you move around in batches of community, shall we say. For example, mm. you make you end up making friends with your apartment mates the first time you have an apartment. Mm -hmm. You end up making good friends with your college buddies, those that jive with you, right? And they remain, sometimes they can remain friends with for life, especially if you're in the same region, the same geography. But if you're not, then you need to make new friends wherever you land up. Mm -hmm. You can still keep the old friends, but you have to make new friends. So over time, we find that there is an age when we are willing to make a lot of new friends and then later on we are not willing to put in the energy because we have some memory mm -hmm. <laughs> that gets in the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is why we don't actively cultivate the idea of how to make better friends. So before we go into better friends, what are good friends? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that very, very quickly. We'll just go through a list. Okay. Good friends help you in times of need. You help mm -hmm. them, they help you. Mm -hmm. They help pick you up at the airport or the railway, the train station, car station, bus station, etc. Right? Or hospital if you're getting surgery or something, right? Mm -hmm. They take you, they pick you up, they take you back, right? Mm -hmm. They help you with your uh, sharing with kids' responsibilities, right? They help you, they help look after your kids, you help look after their kids. They help, they, you might even do vacations together. It's more fun mm -hmm. to kind of be with like minded people, right? And may, similarly, your like minded food habits if you're vegetarian, looking for vegetarian friends, if you're if you like, if you don't eat seafood, you don't want seafood eating friends. You know, you people have choices that they make like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then these are people that can help you with your uh, yard work, with your with your community. They live in your community. They could be neighbors. They could be you know. They can push your energy to go to the yoga class or to go to your workout routine. Mm -hmm. And they go out apart for a walk with you. They're they're able to give you energy when when you could be lazy. Right? Mm. And you give them energy when they, so you together you are more energized, right? So human beings are, of course, as we've told you so many times, a gregarious, a pack animal, and we need the energy of the pack. We are not ultimately happy alone. Mm. We're not. Okay. No matter how much you think you're happy alone, mm. you're not. Just that sometimes you are stifled or you are jaded with some friendships that didn't work out. So you start thinking, I'm a loner. I'm a loner. You're not a loner. Mm. But even loners end up making friends with TV characters, mm -hmm. folks characters, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's our human need. You can't get out of that. Okay. You, your friendships that end up lasting are friendships in the same, you can say, earnings. You earn about the same kind of money, the same range. Mm -hmm. Or you have the same kind of educations. Something compatible, mm -hmm. right? And not so incompatible that you feel that this is not going to work, right? Mm -hmm. So... Uh, so you need some meaningful amount of compatibility in some area, education, uh, you live in the same neighborhood or uh, same um, kind of attitude to saving money rather than just throwing parties or same attitude throwing parties and not saving money, mm -hmm. like that, right? Mm -hmm. Because we find that people that aren't matching with us, we sometimes find that, you know, we go on vacation or something with them and they're spending so much money and you're like, this is a waste. Why mm -hmm. would I now have to match you? It's terrible, but I don't feel happy. Mm -hmm. So all these things come in the way of good friendship. This is good friendship, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, 
everyone knows good friendship, proximity, something like this. Mm. There can be a little bit more depth to it, right? But okay. now that may come in, that extra depth will come into better friendship. Mm. What's a better friendship? Okay, now let's talk about that. I have to give you some examples too. Okay. Mm. okay. So better friends mm -hmm. will educate you and help you with your self-growth. Mm. Things that are a limitation for you internally, they will help you get past them. And for adults, it's a real challenge because by the time I have, we have self-limitations, right? Where we need self-growth, our ego has accepted them. So if someone tells them to fix it, we don't like to hear it. We don't like to, we, we, like, to, we like to say, I am the way I am and I'm happy with I am who I am. Don't tell me what's wrong with me, right? So then many friends will indicate very little, very gently with velvet gloves. And if you don't listen, they'll back off. So I put them back in the category of good. relatively good friends. Mm. Actually, not good friends. Mm. Just friends, acquaintances who do matching tip for that, right? Basically, transactional friendship, right? Transactional friendship is highly valuable. Don't ever underestimate it. You need a bunch of transactional friends in life because life is logistics. A lot of life and survival is logistics. You need them. But you need some good friends too. Friends who will kick you in the butt. To slap you in the face to tell you you're wrong, this is going to hurt you and your family, your spouse, or your kids, right? Because just because you have limitation and you're okay with it doesn't mean it's not costing you. It is costing you, and they are wise enough to see it, and they are bold enough to help you get past it, or bold enough to say, I also have it, you also have it, <laughs> let's work on it together. Mm. I don't have a solution, but it's a problem, mm. right? That much ability to step into your life knowing that it might anger you, knowing that it might upset you, but they're able to eat that upset because they love you or they care for you deep, more deeply than a transactional friend would. Mm -hmm. A transactional friend would say, this might cost me my other transactions, so I'm not going to tell you too harshly. I'll tell you very gently. If, you're not, if you cannot listen, tough for you, bad for you. I tried. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not a good, it's not a better friend. All right? Okay. So in effect, they are willing to be your mentor. Mm. And you have to have the selflessness to be their mentor. Mm. Okay. But it's okay if it's one way. <laughs> you have to learn if you're not that, how shall I say, generous. Right? Mm. What does mentorship mean? Mentorship means they are willing to help you, grow you, support you, expand your capabilities to become even better than them. Hmm. Okay, and most of us aren't willing to do that in return. We don't want our friend to become better than us or 100 yeah. times better than us, 100 times richer than us. We're not gonna <laughs> give it, right? If you are that miserly in your thinking, how will you have better friends? You will be happy with transactional <sighs> friends for whatever that's worth, right? And you will live out your life and it'll be, it will not be as grand as it could be. It hmm. may not be as miserable as someone else who's a loner. Right? You're in the middle somewhere. It's okay. Right? I'm not happy with the in the middle life. <laughs> mm. well, I want life to live. I'm going to do my best. Mm. Right? I'm looking for challenge. I'm looking for people that will grow me. Right? I'm looking for that. And I'm willing to go seek out spiritual leaders. Because spiritual leaders can be that selfless and tell you up front you need to work on this. If you ask them point blank by saying tell me what's wrong with me, they'll tell you this, you need to work on this. Okay? So a good friend has to be, a better friend has to be like that, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Now, the next step, they also need to become your, like your spiritual guide. Mm -hmm. Spiritual guide doesn't mean religion, sorry. Spiritual guide means that they understand and they see life is a, is a steady state of transitions. Mm -hmm. Life is a state of transitions. Nobody is static. Either you're going downhill or you're going uphill. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> because, you know, there, there's a saying, I don't want to become a bitter person, mm -hmm. right? If you keep remembering all the bad things that happen to you all the mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. right? And you keep revising them in your head, you will end up becoming a bitter human being. Mm -hmm. And if you can keep remembering the things you should be grateful for because you were lucky enough to get a few things in life, then you will become a more positive human being and a more loving human being. And that loving human being will be a better parent to your own kids, a better 
kid to your own parents, mm. a better friend to your friends. So ungrateful people are just toxic. People that can remember 25 bad things that happened to them at any moment at a drop of a hat are toxic. Mm. Everyone can remember a hundred thousand things that are bad that happened to them by the very people who claim to love them. It's easy to do that. Mm. Okay, That's like gravity. Without thought, that can happen. Okay. To have a thought that I want to be grateful for, right? to have a good thought, good memory, rekindle in your brain about how how much fun learning is right, with this person, how much fun it is to take risk with this person, even if it doesn't work out. That's anti-gravity. It's effort. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, better friends make effort. Mm -hmm. Good friends work with gravity. <laughs> okay, so that is today. Okay, now I, I, I couldn't give you enough examples, but I think I gave you some examples mm -hmm. of what people will do, right? Okay, now to give you a dead example of what could a spiritual person do. For example, you could be aligned in the way that you approach politics with a friend, good, better friend, right? Mm -hmm. You may not agree on the political party, mm -hmm. but you'll find a way to be aligned in the way you approach politics. And that's important. You might be aligned in the way you approach religion. May not be the same religion, it's okay. Mm. Yeah. Saying that, you know, when I do this, my own religion stuff, it helps calm me down. When you do yours, does it calm you down? They go, yeah, good. Mm. Let's go do mine. I'll go do mine, you do yours, and then we'll meet at five o'clock in the evening. <laughs> right? So you are aligned in the way you approach it. And smart, or I should say better people, evolved people are able to find alignment. It's easy to find differences. Okay. Mm. Okay, it takes effort, it's anti-gravity. <laughs> okay, does that example help? Okay, so that's for today. Wow. <laughs> so what did I learn from this today? Well, let me ask you a different question. <laughs> okay, 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 you said friendship is a key component of life, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But then we realize over time mm -hmm. that we don't have that many good friends, really good friends. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> it's very much, it's very difficult to do all this anti-gravity work with 100 people. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so... How are you mm -hmm. putting effort into making good friends better? Are you doing that? Or are you finding that you only have a few better friends? Where are you? Well, I am um, not sure okay. after some of these. What you just learned? Learned okay. today and okay. also what we have also talked about friendship before. Yes. Oh, yeah. We have a bunch of series. Correct. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I have found that I have very few better friends I can count in fingers. Very nice. Mm. But, oh, it was a shock to you. Was it? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, that's what you mean. Those were my better friends, but they are good friends uh, or acquaintances. So you had to reclassify your friends. Yes. That can be painful. Mm -hmm. But I'm so glad that Yamini shared that because mm -hmm. you have to go through that exercise. You have to go through and watch our video on levels of friendship and yes. figure out yes. who are your good and who are your close or better friends. Mm -hmm. Today we're using a, a different term better friends, mm -hmm. but this comes in the category of close friends, but they need not be close. You can have a good friend or an acquaintance or mm -hmm. a, just a regular friend mm -hmm. who can you evolve into become a, having a better relationship, a more elevated. Mm -hmm. And they may become close with you over time, mm -hmm. but they can still be a better acquaintance, a better friend at a friend level. Mm -hmm. That's what we're, so we're talking how to improve quality of whatever the friendship is, no matter what you call it. Another thing I want to add is that today I learned that transactional friendship is not bad. I always used to put it in a negative way. Oh. So you said today you, you heard should it. have. Today you heard it. Last time. Last I time. <laughs> you did talk about it, but yeah. today I actually understood the concept. Uh, what is transactional? And yes, we do have a lot of transactional need, friends. And need. I thought, no, that is no friendship, but that is needed, like you yes. said. It's so very necessary. That is an eye opener. Yes, yes. Yes. And you must value, be grateful for them. Yes. Okay. Well, a warm namaste from Yamini Mitra. And from Sandeep Tiwari. Next time.